So hello everybody. We're standing in the middle of one of the best examples of something very technical that we do on projects and that is micro lamb beams. This project has had so many walls opened up and is being supported by micro lamb beams. So I want to just talk to you a little bit about some of the technical things about opening up a wall. Everybody knows you can put 2x12s when you open up walls, you can do 2x8s, 2x6s. And if you do those things, you're going to get, be able to get a normal inspection and the inspectors will see if you're following the code book because there are, those are called nominal size lumber. But when you get into large spans and extra heavy loads, you can no longer use 2x12s. The most you can span is around 8 to 10 feet on most loads. So we're talking about major loads and major spans. So micro lamb beams are an engineered product. They have to be engineered and therefore their sizes will vary greatly for depending on what, what they're being used for. So I want to show you all some of the details that, that go into it. And look at the size of these beams. This is a 14 inch micro lamb as you can see here. And it is three layers wide, so it's a total of five and three-eighths wide. So you've got to realize that, that two of them will make up the distance of a two by four, and three of them are going to get you in the pocket of a two by six. And they're designed that way. But the amount of strength and load that can be placed on them is tremendously more. Look at the type of hanger that it takes to support another one that's intersecting it. So not only do we have the weight of this and this load, and Justin's going to show you all, this load is being placed on it also. So it's got this load and now it's got this load for taking out a very large span here. We opened up multiple places in here. Three wide, 14 inches tall, and then we've got this one is much bigger. It is actually 18 inches tall and two layers wide. So depending on what type of room you have for height and what type of room you want to show, how big you're going to finish out a beam like this is going to show, how much sheetrock or wood trim is going around it can determine whether you want to go wider this way, wider, or taller this way in the height. This one's 18 inches versus 14. And they're going to carry about the same amount of loads, but each of these is engineered. And of course, like we said, even the hangers that it takes, this has approximately 40 nails on each side that hold this in place to carry this load. These are smart, small little nails. And another t technical detail is you don't use the wrong type of nails on these. Otherwise, you're not meeting the manufacturer's specifications. So all of these have to be hung in a certain way if you're going to intersect. Now, of course, where your load is bearing in a framed opening where you're not hanging, now you've got to have a lot of support. Notice this one here has four studs, two by four studs holding it up. Because of the significant loads, it has two here and two here. And you'll notice too how we've done something else. We've, we've pulled this back into the framing further so it gives it more lateral support this way. This is going to, going to increase the way that it gives, gives it strength. So this is a, a different way of framing where you've got two supports out here and two supports over here. And that's, that's really going to uh, add more strength. It also allows, in this case, for the electrical to come up through it rather than having five studs here as you would see all together and you can't put any electrical in it. A lot of people make the mistake in these heavy load bearing situations of putting them all together and then you have to notch out for the, for the plugs and switches. And that's going to weaken your structure again. And so how we do this and open this up is another technical aspect of installing micro lamb beams. A lot of people know that the beams can support the weight. A lot of people know that you got to get it engineered. Some don't. But one of the things they fail to understand is that the supports need to be spread out in many cases if you're going to have anything in between here, like switches and plugs. So that's just another technical aspect of it. The shoring is a whole other operation. 
and we've had all kinds of support walls in here. But now, as you can see, it's all opened up and these beautiful beams are doing their job and making this room feel so much bigger and so much more grand. Hope you enjoyed it. 